Hello fellow beings of Middle-earth and welcome finally to the Whale of Darwinian campaign. This is Divide and Conquer version 3 and today we're going to start this campaign. Our ob objectives in this campaign is to bring down the factions Easterlings of Rune and Modern. We're probably going to take a chunk of Dolgaldor's land as well. We're going to have to see about this but definitely try to eliminate more factions th than just these two. So, what I should say about this faction before we start is probably the elf human choice. We are going to be able to choose whether to use elven or human elites in the barracks after the barracks event. So I do want you guys to vote on what choice I am going to make. Either it's going to be the elven or the human choice, so do vote in the comment section. Our leader is Vine Regent Havin. And our capital is Karasant. And I just think we're going to start right there. So today we are going to definitely build up an economy. Usually I do rush factions. I've done this in my Isengard let's play. My Gundabad let's play. And my Remnants of Angmar let's play. But Darwinian is not able to rush Rune. Like other factions are able to rush. So today I'm going to show you a lot of the campaign map. And how you can build up a proper economy. To start your campaign off perfectly. Alright. The winning. I'm not going to read all, all of this. But I'm just going to go quickly through it. And you can just pause and read it if you want. But basically the winning is a faction. Consisting of elves and humans. Um, that just. Like the elves were just left behind. Or they didn't go to Valinor. Uh, I'm not going to explain much about that. So we're going to start to raise the tax to high just simply because we want Some money out of this place. We're going to earn like 100 more per turn in the long run It's not going to be the best choice, but we're still going to build a lot of communal farming and such So it's going to be fine and the reason I'm going to going to go for communal farming is that it's going to give us a like, population growth so that we can just easily raise the tax as opposed to ship right and the chicken farming isn't bad choices either, but this is the most This is what we can afford because I want to build stuff in the other settlements as well Now these two units we're going to send straight to the front and have them stationed in some free upkeep And we also do want to build a little tower here Let's just get that done Over on the east we're going to recruit some units because we're going to push straight out to the west and I'm also going to go for some mines because they make a lot of money actually. 350, pretty good for some mines. Same here, going to go for the mines. This is a very important uh, front line because we're going to face Rune here. So we do want to fill up this fort as quickly as possible. The Burka is an island left on itself and we can't really afford much more than the Leather Tanner. But that's perfect, it will give us 40 per turn. Just going to build that. I'm actually going to abandon these guys because they cost us 160 per turn. Yes. Athal here it got the Athal Rangers and he will not really have Your orders, my lord. any free upkeep here. So he's just stuck on this island and he will just cause you to lose a lot of money. This but that's just how it is. He's like, he, yes. he's like, um, cost you like a mine per turn, which is kind of, that kind of sucks. But that's just how it is. Yes, these guys is the elite to get in the early game. You can't recruit them, but you start with them. These are elves. We're going to send them up here, and we're going to take a look at their units after a while. But we're going to head out for Elanin, bring that down. We're also going to head out for Karvarad over here. But first I do need these guys. And I suppose we can just build a tower here in the meantime. Uh, we're going to do it the next turn. And I think that's the first turn. So the winning campaign is basically just building up your economy first and then you start yeah, warring with Rune. But Dolgodor can also come in from the west, so you do want to be a little bit careful. Because you we have seen there how they can just throw out hundreds of thousands of units. We saw that in the Wooden Realm Total War campaign. And we really weren't prepared for that and it just became a long stalemate. 
Alright, the Lambeth claims at Helon. Ilanin. Ah, we will actually be rewarded. That's just yes. awesome. I don't think there's any good units we can actually recruit at this oh, point, though. Alright, we're just going to siege these guys out. I don't think these guys are going to attack us. Simply because the elves are just so overpowered. And we cannot assault the walls because they have a lot of Ravanian hunters, which have a lot of missile attack. So we're going to take very many losses if we attack them. And I do want to make sure that we yes, my lord. keep these guys alive because they're going to be very important in the battles to come. Now we're going to head out with... Let's bring all of these guys out. Yeah, we're going to go over here and we're going to find Karvarad somewhere here. And that's basically it for this turn, I think. We are just building stuff everywhere. And in not too long, we're going to see the yes. financial benefits of it. So let's end the turn again. Now, if you're new to the channel, I do recommend you to check out my other Let's Plays. I have a very good Gondorn Let's Play, Isengard Let's Play, Remnants of Angmar Let's Play, and yeah, a lot of... And I've just started the Dwarves of Edward and Let's Play as well. So do check them out if you haven't. I also have a couple of guides on my channel. And I'm also making some lore videos here and there. Ah, Karvarad, about the Lord of the Rings series. Uh, let's just siege them out. The reason I'm bringing just four units to assault this is because that's the minimum for them. And they're actually going to like sally out or we're going to get the city very quickly. And we have a wine lord Swain, which is very powerful. He got the high paladins. So we will be able to win this battle if we play our cards correctly. Yes. They did not attack Nurva, so we're just going to siege them out until they sally out. And we're barely just making money. But when we get these settlements, we're going to make a lot more money very quickly. And we have already seen that Rune they did auto-expand into Lest in the second turn. And they're just going to have large armies just roaming around and taking a lot of settlements. And that's why it doesn't really work to rush Rune. Simply because they have so many armies that they start with. I think the developers of this mod have made those armies just to make sure that you don't rush through. Because the Whale well of the Winning campaign is going to be a little bit more of a challenging campaign. So it's going to be nice to see how this campaign will, will work out. I haven't played as Well of the Winning before. Ah, they're actually attacking us at Calvarad just like we wanted. Alright, Captain Vithergast. Yeah, he's coming for us. Well, I will see you on the battlefield. So Alright, we are here. Let's bring down Kalvarad in the name of the wine. Let's... Alright, I'm going to take up Resonance here on this little slope. We're going to hold them there. And we're going to use our crossbows very efficiently. This is the perfect angle for them, I think. They're going to get a lot of straight hits into the enemy. And it looks like if they have any arrow towers, we're just out of range. Or we might actually, we're actually just in range, that sucks. Alright, we gotta bring them back a little bit then. That is just unfortunate. Let's bring them a little bit back. You do want to make sure you are out of range of those arrow towers, because they're really scary in this patch. I think we're out of range again now. Alright, crossbows start hitting some of these men. We should get in a lot of hits with these crossbows. And let's hope that their cavalry is actually targeting our thorn guard. Uh, but first of all, we do, do need to take a look at these guys' stats. So, the high paladins is the normal general's bodyguard. They have 16 attack, 6 charge bonus, and 26 total defense. That is very, very well. However, they are not... Like, they will struggle if they meet armor piercing. And the rune do bring a lot of those. So you want to make sure you don't bring these guys upon the wrong units. Because they will suffer then. This is the thorn crossbowmen. These are, of course, effective against armor. And they have 6 miss attack, which is pretty good. 4 male attack, 2 charge bonus, 6 total defense. Alright for a crossbow unit. The Thorn Guard uh, is a very good unit because they're both skill against mounts and they are effective against armor. So they are essentially cavalry killers because cavalry rely much on both their armor and they are of course mounts. They have 9 total defense as well so they will pr hold up pretty well. 
Thorn Blazeman is just a solid infantry unit, nothing special, but they have pretty nice attack and pretty nice defense. These guys seem to be struggling a little bit with their shots. Let's see if we can make them all shoot. Crossbows do have the tendency to suffer sometimes. Uh, it looks like they're actually going to go straight for the Torn Bladesman. But they will also engage these guys, which is good. And they're all going to come over here now. But we are not getting the shots we want. We're getting like arcing shots, which is not very good. And these guys have engaged the the Thorn Bladesman, and I think the Privateer Cavalry is effective, no. But you see there, they have a lot of armor, so I guess the Thorn Guard, they will just be teared apart. At least some of them went in into those. Now we're going to use the High Paladins here. Alright, these guys. Let's see if we can find the General, it would be very wise. I know that they were in some Revenge Spearman unit. It might be this one. Let's try to find Jell so that we can target him. We do want to hit all of these remaining hunters. I think the general might be all the way in the back. But let's use um, Wine Lord Swain over here and just charge into Revenant Spearman on the flank. That should do some heavy work. Let's try to just give them a real solid shot. Yeah, they're actually running. We're going to get a lot of kills out of that, which is nice. Just hit the Privateer Cavalry for now. And they have a lot of Javelins over here, which I think have pretty decent... Yeah, 9 missed attack. That's very, very bad for us, actually. That's almost Dwarven level. That's pretty weird that they have so much. Let's hit these Ravenna Spearmen now. Going to give them a charge! Ah, that is wonderful. Look at these Ravenna Spearmen fall apart. It's a very powerful charge. And we have actually killed the general, which is going to drastically give us some very nice bit of favor here. Let's charge these guys in the rear. Keep raining help on them. Do charge these guys. Bring them down. Be a bit more aggressive, just go straight into them. Alright, we're hitting the privateer cavalry now. We could cause some morale issues, but we're still uh, behind in terms of percentage killed. But their general is down, so they should fall apart pretty quickly. Uh, these guys might have actually overstressed themselves. We might want to keep them in Gano just for the time being. I'm not worried about Swain. He's going to kill his way through this. Going to carve himself through them like butter. Should probably have brought another sword unit instead of these crossbows. They like their balls just doesn't seem to be hitting enough. They will rain upon like this, but that's not a very efficient crossbow hit. I'm going to try to line them up over here, get perfect shots because we got this little arc here, which might work in our favor. But honestly, I've been suffering a lot with crossbows lately. They can sometimes cause a lot of trouble for you, and. Usually archers will be more efficient. But crossbows have a very large attack. And you have seen how efficiently I've used Saruman in the Isengard campaign. They are deadly if used properly. Now I think we should get a lot better shots right here. They might be too close. We'll have to see about it. Why not Swain have re-established his line? And yeah, they will actually got completely perfect shots. This is the deadly shots I'm talking about. This is how you kill a lot of... Yeah, you just see the drop like 10 or 12. That's how crossbows can be so deadly. Why not swing holding firmly? We are facing a lot of units though. We are going to suffer here. I'm almost tempted to go straight for these guys. Why not Swain? How is he performing? Yeah, he's safe over there. We need to use this ability again. And are we getting the proper shots into these guys as we want? Yeah, that's how you use crossbows, boys. These guys are falling apart now. They're getting surrounded. That is not good. 
do take down this cavalry with you, please. While Lord Swain is starting to gain a lot of experience at this point. We're still holding here, and they have lost a general. It's just a matter of time before they start routing. And there we go. Let's bring down these hunters. And you guys are going to charge straight into those, and you as well just run over here. We're going to completely get rid of them now. And oh yeah, it's only these guys left, which will bring down at this point. Let's see if we can. Yeah, there we go. That's wonderful. And we're going to end the battle right there. 248 lost, 900 killed. Very successful battle. It's risky though. High Paladin's doing very, very well, as well as the Thorn Bladesman. Definitely proved to be a strong unit. If the cavalry have initially charged the Thorn Guard, we would have, yeah, made a lot more progress in that battle. But we were lucky that the general fell apart pretty early on. So now we have taken our first settlement, and in not too long we'll get Ilanin as well. So let's see what we can build here if we are making any money at all at this point. I think we still have to wait a little bit for the money to come in. Glory. We're just Honor. going to Victory. probably Milord, just occupy. I think Honor we'll have conquered. the Northmen culture here. Or not. Yeah, it's going to be completely fine actually. Now we're going to see if we can just leave Lord Swain out of this settlement. Yeah, they're still going to be oh, all right. Your orders, my lord. These guys, 61. Let's just see what yes, my lord. custom... Yeah. Let's uh, leave behind these guys. Oh, they will not be happy at that point. Alright, we have to leave behind these guys. We have to send these guys back to Santa Anui. And Wine Lord Swain. Let's just see what we can build here first. Yeah, we definitely want to go for the free upkeep. But we'll not get any free upkeep before we on these guys before we have built this anyways. But yeah, I think we're going to go for the town guard first and then build the meeting hall afterwards. Your orders, my lord. What about Wine Lord Swain? No, he will not get free yes, upkeep either. Let's just send him out and build some watchtowers. Uh, these guys we need to be sure we don't run into. Your orders, my lord. These guys will just siege out. Yes. Let's try to send one Lord Swain over here and just keep him safe. And we'll get free upkeep on those. We're still just building on the Burka. I'm just going to neglect this for a little bit. It's not really the most important settlement at the moment. Alright, we go another turn. So we're just going to expand a little bit up towards Ilanin and I think after that we can probably just build up our economy and then we're going to hit Rune. That's my plan so far. Alright. Let's see here. Orders, Bring you down here. Yes. There we go. This and you can go to San Danui afterwards. We do want to build some yes, towers here after a while as well. But we can still see here when the enemy is coming. Alright, two turns until we get two mines. That's going to be a huge boost. Alright, kind of sound one more turn. Yeah, I'm just going to save money. Your orders, two more turns until they will sell you out here. Let's bring these guys down here. They will have the free upkeep. We could probably send another unit down here at this point. Let's just send... Or it would be nice with some crossbows on that bridge, to be honest. Let's send them the next turn. Yes, my lord. We can go no further, my lord. Yeah, we're going to send it to Sant Anui for now. We don't need any watchtowers just yet, and it's going to cost lord, us like 300 per turn. Yes, so we're going to try to save that money a little bit at least. But they will have the communal farming, and Kara Sant will make a lot more money. Now, essentially, when you bring down Rune, you're going to make so much money. Their provinces is very, very wealthy. In terms of quality, we have... They, Rune will send a lot of stack spam. They will have a lot of cavalry. So we'll need a lot of... Uh, a lot of those Thorn Guard. 
Now I'm going to go for chicken farming over here now. I'm going to just get that population growth up. Just look at how much more money we're going to make now. Like 150. We're not going to have any population growth, but once we get this up, we're still going to have population growth. And we're going to make so much money. Right, one more turn over there. This is just building, and I'm not swaying. Let's get free upkeep on you. And I suppose these guys were to be sent now. So let's send them down. One more turn until we get those mines. Yeah, that's going to be a very huge boost to us. And we're also going to do the battle for Ilanin and see some elven action from Norve, the Morikandi Sentinel. Oh wow, we can actually recruit these guys. And that wouldn't be too bad for just... Yeah, actually I'm going to recruit some cavalry, I think. That would be quite useful. And afterwards we could just leave these guys behind. Actually, if we recruit these guys, these guys might e even not sally out. So it might actually be worth it to just recruit these guys. We still have 470. We're not going to have enough for both of these. But we can bring both of these, though. They might not sally out now, which is kind of cool. And if they do, we'll still crush them. So let's end the turn. But to the north we have the Dwarves of Erebor and the Kingdom of Dale, so safe from that place. But we are, of course, bordering both Dol Guldor from the west and Eastlings of Rune to the east, which is going to be our major problems. And they are going to attack us. That's going to be a rise. We are even outnumbering them, and we have these elven elites. All right, I will see you on the battle. All right, we are here. We're going to see some lovely elven elites on this battlefield. We're also going to see some action from the Ravanian Hunters and how they will perform when used by a human player. So now, first of all, let's take a look at our General Nurve, which have the Morikendi Sentinels. 11 melee attack, 9 missile attack, 5 charge bonus, 24 total defense. These guys are a very defensive arch unit, definitely. They will, they will do those arch battles and go victorious out of them. They're not not up with the Elven Elites. Their missile attack is not that high compared to other factions like for example the Wooden Realm which have like 13 or 14 missile attack but they're still very good. However they will lack in battles against armor piercing units in melee so do watch out for that. Crossbows and javelins is also very effective against these guys. Uh, so yeah. Avarit Shadows, 9 melee attack, 8 missile attack, 15 total defense. Essentially, pretty equal to these guys, just not as elite, but they're still very, very decent. They are elves after all. Avari Warriors, 14 attack, 6 charge bonus, 20 total defense. They're up with the high paladins almost. Very, very good units. Ravan Hunters, we have just seen, and Ravan Spearmen as well. So let's just win this battle, shall we? We're going to try to hit the. Yeah, you can already see that our range is superior. And we can already hit the units over here. We're going to see the Avari Warriors. Avari Shadows in some action. Alright, let's... Let's see this. Oh yeah. That's how I want to see. Oh, these guys were a little bit too slow. This army is really cool. Wow. Let's hope that the cavalry actually charges our Ravanian Spearmen. Because these guys should be... Yeah, they're skilled against mounts. It looks like they are indeed going for the Avari Warriors. I'm going to try to make a diversion here. And make them charge these guys instead. Uh, it doesn't look like that's going to happen. So we'll have to charge them in. That is never a good thing. But these are Avari Warriors. They should not do very poorly. Now let's just send these guys in from the side. Yeah, these guys are just targeting these guys perfectly. I think we can just go really aggressive here, to be honest. Just hit, uh, yeah. You could probably hit uh, the Cell Sarge, actually. They are a real unit here. But uh, the Avari Warriors have been slaughtering this cavalry. Now comes the reinforcements. These guys are going to charge into the Ravanian Hunters. The Ravanian Hunters over here are going to take some Javis into the Cell Sarge, which is going to work very well. 
because the cell swords I did they rely almost only on their armor so and these guys have nine miss attack which is just so strong these guys charge in a little bit too far it looks like but it will we'll see how it will work out these guys just letting the cell swords die for all it's worth now the Avari warriors are performing very well over here these guys have just charged way too far though. They're going to be surrounded. That charge was very weird. We'll just have to let them catch up. That's going to be how we're going to do this. These guys are just going to shoot the cell in the back. Let's use the light of Elbereth. These guys have been routed. Let's bring these guys around. Hit the Javis straight into their backs. I think these guys are actually very very good. Uh, we're just going to keep the those in the fort and use them against Rune on the bridge. Just imagine what they can do. Yeah, these guys are doing some very nice work over here. And the cell swords are coming back. They're probably going for these guys. And these guys will be perfect to just hammer into these through and spin them. We're just going to keep the reviving spearmen as a, um, a free like uh, a unit behind just to keep a garrison. Now let's see how these guys will do against. Like these are essentially like dwarves in their miss attack, not in melee of course. But just look at this. 109 to yeah, they lost like 20 men almost. That's overpowered. That's... Wow. Probably getting a bit friendly fire right there. If we just charge them in now, they will probably route. These guys should not anymore hunt for those. Just get in here. These guys have been doing some nice work though. Yeah, they're not fighting to the deaths. Avari warriors in their glory. Just look at them go. They're still the children of Eru. The firstborn. Seltzorz is gotten completely surrounded. Hit the Ravannon Spearman. Let's see some proper... Some proper shots now, boys. Ah, that's the Elven. That's the Elves I want to see. Wonderful. Just look at these guys fall apart completely. And these guys are also winning heavily on that front. Now, Avadi Wars. Flank these guys. And you are going to go here. And look at how fast they run. Look very glorious. I remember these guys from the forge. Let's see how they will... Oh, these guys have to stop firing now. Don't want a friendly fire right here. Oh, look at that. Cell swords are broken. And it's only the cavalry left at this point. Give them a charge, boys. Bring them down. Bring them down. And there we go. 81 lost, 771 killed. Avari War is doing very, very excellent. But everyone did pretty good. The Ravana Hunters didn't lose anyone and they could have gotten much more kills. They're going to be quite useful against the uh, generals that Rune has to offer because they are monsters and they're armor piercing. But they rely very much on their armor, so we're going to be using those Ravana Hunters for that mission. And of course they are only mercenaries, but let's see how long we can make those survive. That would have been quite interesting to see. That's our second Over settlement. Glorious victory. Yeah, we're just going to probably sack this place. We do want to leave just some random people there anyways. Mission success. Ah, oh, we actually got some Darwinian infantry. Wow, that's cool. But I don't think we can... Yeah, this place is quite long. Let's just bring them down here. Isn't that the same unit that... Region Spear Guard, okay. Then we actually want to bring Captain Bondi back. Captain Bondi, that's such a name. Dude. Alright, we can actually send out uh, Wine Lord Sway now and get some towers built. Because we do not have free upkeep on everyone anyways. Yes, my lord. Nurva with these Ravannon Hunters are going to go back, you go to head there, and they will be completely fine. 
Let's just build towers. Alright, we might want to get a meeting hall. We can only recruit these boys. Alright. Now we're going to save money up for this mining network. But it might actually be useful to do the mason's halls first. I'm just going to save like 850. And yeah, this costs like 950. But we want to get everything much cheaper so that's going to be worth it in the long run. Let's do the same here. Mason Hall. <laughs> Alright, Wittegas is on its way. We're also going to get the meeting halls here in a while. They're going to be very useful. Alright, let's just end another yes. turn then. <laughs> Sorry about my noise. My nose. I'm just not getting entirely healthy. Just not yet, but that's fine. Uh, Winterian Yaur, let's see where we could cross around that. Uh, we do want to get that settlement. Let's see. Your orders, my lord. Yeah, we have to go all the way around. Actually getting some chips would be very useful at this point, I think. We're going to go for them next time. Let's see if they will actually... They will only bring us trade though. But that's going to be a nice addition actually. They're bringing in a lot of money. Alright, this unit is going to be very warm, very warm welcomed. And Swain, you just keep going over here. I don't think we want to expand further into here because it's just villages. And they're just not entirely worth it in my opinion. This tower will keep vigil over the lands. We can go no further, my lord. Alright, we're just building stuff now. That's fine. These guys will get into the fort again. Which is very useful. Yeah, we're making a lot of money already. But definitely we do want to get a ship and start harassing Rune over here. We could even just make a large expedition hit. Mist round. But I think we do want to get the garrison quarters most places first and the mining networks so that we are prepared properly yes my lord rude have taken this land already this place is not taken yet uh, we're going to build a watchtower down there and see how it, how the world is up down there i think we're going to retrain those units and that's it yeah let's retrain them and the turn. If you retrain your units, uh, that's the last thing you do. You will get armor upgrades usually. But we haven't built any armor upgrades here anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Or armors. We haven't built any armors. Candidate for adoption. Not going to accept it just yet. Alright, we have a lot more money now. Still going to cost us. Yeah, we're going to wait a little bit longer. This can actually get us a ship though. Let's see how much we'll make out of that. It will give us some population growth. It will give us like 160 more. However, this will bring us like. Yeah, 375. That's a very good investment. We're going to save up for the mines. Even though we might want to build something here as well. Hmm. Our culture is completely fine. So probably just... Roads would be pretty decent for the trade. Yeah, it doesn't really bring in a lot though. We can build a port here as well. But we need to save the money. Let's just get the land clearance and get the population growth up. So that we can upgrade this place yes, after a while. Lord. Yes. Alright, and we're going to build one more tower over there. And Ludovic is going to go down here. And we're going to head back. Yeah, we're making a lot of money. Less is the, t is the settlement you want to attack first. Uh, and then you want to go straight for Mr. Land. But they, are, they have expanded very much into this land. 
it's going to be an interesting situation. Alright, let's get the ship right next. It brings in enough money. And we'll have we, we do need those ships to be honest. Here I'm actually going to go for a meeting hall and then we're going to save up mines over here. Because meeting halls down here is pretty useful because we'll need the free upkeep to have more units stationed here. Yeah, we'll have enough money for the mines next turn anyways. So that's just fine. Yes, my lord. And this guy will soon get free upkeep in two turns once we have built the meeting hall. Alright, nice. So we are essentially kind of going to bother in on most sides to the south. Not only from the settlement we have here in the southeast, but also Carvarad and yeah, and Santanui as we already do. Your orders, this guy is already here. Yes, my lord. Come and get your orders, my lord. We build a tower up there. We should yes. be fine. This I will yeah. Let's get him back. Yes. Move as well. Just head out home. This tower we finally have some real visions over our lands. Lokan Rukar is on his own. Alright, let's build the mines. Beautiful. We should have had some more forts. This is very little. And we don't have any free upkeep here either. Only one unit. Which is kind of... Kind of sucks, but... We're going to focus on this, this stuff instead. These guys will just have to be held here. Even though a lot of them could have been swapped out for these guys. Once we get the garrison quarters and get some more meeting halls here, I think we're going to be fine. <laughs> I'm probably going to go for these ones instead of the mind stress at the moment. Yeah. Just so that we can get a proper garrison here once these guys decide to attack. And we're going to get a ship and get this Athol here out of here. Athol here, out of here. Wow. That's some wordplay right there. <laughs> Rune is interested in negotiating. What will they ask for? Noble one, uh, we have something. We can do trade you. rights for now. We still not any. Ah, oh, they you went through our lands. This is sketchy. Oh, that's probably because we have some established roads over there. But you see, their army is just streaming into the, into the west. And we do of course don't want them to hit Gondor too much. Usually they don't do that, but... Ah, we got the gift as well. And we're building the port already. Beautiful. Did we, we didn't build a mason hall here though. I think it's worth going for now. It's going to be profitable in the long run. Yeah, we're already having bad negoti like Your orders, my bad yes, relations sir. with us. Yes. So let's send this, this guy Nurve. Probably needed at the front. And this guy orders, my lord. We just have to keep him here. Will, my lord. But we are getting the garrison yeah. Now we have the f the meeting hall, so let's get the garrison quarters so that we can recruit proper units out of here. And then we can put Another general inside this settlement. Or a unit. Wine Lord Swain, he will be the bastion of the West. He will go to Saint Anui. In Kalvarad, we do want to get a great hall. Just get that free upkeep so that we can have free upkeep on more of those units. That's going to be needed. Alright, that's going to bring out. Yeah, we're still building stuff here. We're probably going to do for the go for the same over here. Great tall as well. Your orders, my lord. We still haven't built any ships though. That's rather unfortunate. We'll get the Mason's Hall and then we'll build the ship right and it's going to be okay. But Karasant is not very heavily defended at this point. Definitely not. I don't think they're going to attack just yes, yet. 
and we do have the capacity to recruit a lot of units when needed. This is going to take a long while though, but it's going to bring us so much money. And we're already making solid money to be honest. But Rude could potentially attack at almost any time, and I do want to attack them before they attack us. But just biding our time, building up now, that's going to be important. And we might want to adopt a general sooner or later, simply because we will have... Yeah, we're not going to adopt this scum though. Land clearance. Yeah, and we're building stuff. Nurva, you got to head down here. You're going to be very useful in the war to come. We'll head out these guys when necessary as well. They could potentially fight on this front over here. But just limiting ourselves to one front is probably wise. They haven't even taken Queen Tyrion Yaur. All right. Yes. Why not Swain on your way? Yes. Murva on your way. We simply need to just build more of these, just to have a proper garrison here, so that Rune doesn't attack us for no reason. Yes, my lord. All right. End the turn again then. Just a lot of waiting here, but we have already established a very successful economy. Low Khan Rukar standing on the bridge. He doesn't really have any special bodyguard. He has the same as Olaf Rune does. He used to have this, the chariots, but that was way too overpowered. I remember that time. Uh, Alright, Karasant. And let's get the ship right now. Yeah, we're going to make more money out of it as well. Actually, 230, that's very good. That's like a mine. But it costs a little bit more. Your orders, my lord. We can go no Why yes. Lord Swain back in his home? Order. Now, these guys don't get free upkeep anymore. But we'll have free upkeep in three turns over here. So I'm actually tempted to... This settlement... No, we're not going to expand over there now. Dolgoldor Dol even borders now. Yeah, these guys will definitely be needed here. Can we recruit? Yeah, two more turns, then we'll get free upkeep up here. Alright, so what we're going to essentially do is just send one of these units to Carver out, and we'll get free upkeep on them in like two turns, which is not too bad. And we do have free... No, we'll get free upkeep here in two turns as well. Yes. And that's actually completely perfect. Because then we'll just move some of these units to Strondost. I stand here unthreatened by you. Yeah, we'll have to see what happens next. It could re very much be an interesting time. They could attack us at any point now. But gladly we have these watchtowers, which will give us some advantage here. Watchtowers are very, very important. Not to be neglected. Alright. We're making solid money now. 10,000 already? That's how we build a proper economy, I should say. Alright. Uh, we can't even build stuff. That's wonderful. We do want to get some stables, boys and girls, because they are pretty overpowered, these cavalry units. Just essentially because cavalry in general is overpowered. Not that this cavalry is specifically overpowered. We can even recruit some Dorvinian infantry here. And they are essentially a very good spearman unit, it looks like. I haven't even used these guys before, if I'm going to be completely honest. We need to get this afterwards. In Karvarad, still two turns. At least these guys will get free upkeep. Two turns here. Seven turns, yeah. Oh, only two turns? Why is that? We already had this. I guess it's not too bad. It will give us a lot of money anyways. But if I had just noticed that, we could have avoided building this and instead gone for some stables. 
But I do not want to cancel them now. That would be stupid. We're just going to get them up yes, there. My lord. Let's end one more turn. Let's see what Rune will do. It's only a matter of time before they attack us. And the Avari Warriors would very much be needed down here instead. But they're not really the essential unit you want to throw against Rune. They're much better against Mordor. Rune are, they do have a lot of armor piercing units. Let's see. Alright, Nurva will go into this spot and we'll ask for the strongest because we now have the Great Hall, the Meeting Hall, yes. And we can now recruit these guys. These guys will get, be able to recruit in 50 turns. Oh wow. Uh, let's get the Great Hall here. We just want to have a lot of units stationed here and we're going to save the money. Garrison quarters. These guys are probably going to take Meteor soon. One more turn. One more turn. And let's recruit. We'll get two of those, yeah. Let's recruit both of those and we can abandon these guys in a turn. I guess we could even build a meeting hall here and just get a couple of units built here. Just to have a little bit more solid garrison in case Athol here is attacked. Not that it's really going to matter that much, but it's just a little bit better. I think I'm going to get a Spy as well. Oh, he's 100 up here, so let's just wait a little bit. We're going to send him down on the border and just be looking out properly. They could very much be tempted to attack us at Stronos because we only have two units. Alright, end the turn again. I think this is an important part, even though we're not seeing a lot of battles. It is very important to see how you're going to establish this proper start. Because it's, got, it's going to be a challenging campaign. And I have never played beyond this point before. I've just barely tested the campaign, seeing how you build up a proper economy, just to be sure it works out. But they haven't done anything else than that. The Lord's Hall is probably a nice building to get. Yeah, let's just get it. And we're going to retrain those. Ah, uh, alright. Nothing special right there. Ilanin. Let's get this guy out of here. We get even more money now. And up here we're going to build... I suppose we could just go for some communal farming and try to build this place up. Get some walls around here. Alright, we do actually have some walls, but some more money though in the long run. Let's get perhaps a long ship. No, it's not it's not really worth it. I think we're just going to go over from this side. These guys can just be sent away. And we're going to attack soon. We do want to get stables first. Four turns, seven turns. Alright, after this are built, we're going to build some stables, and then we're going to do mass expansion, I think. We can also build some stables over here. Practice range will give us thorn crossbowmen. Alright, end the turn then. Yeah, they're just mass producing their troops and just sending them to the west and conquering everything in their path. We'll have to use multiple armies once we attack Rune. Heading for Mistran and Lest is not a bad idea, but it's really just stretching us out very far. They can attack our settlements from very many sides, which is not that good. Like, we're going to have to attack them over here at least. Minas Morgul besieged. And you never know when Dolgodor is coming either. Actually, yeah, that's fine. But at least we have a lot of money now. Neburka. Let's just get one unit and have free upkeep on him. I'm not really going to bother to build anything else right there.
Now should we send these guys down south and make a push? I'm just, I don't really like waiting. I'm very impatient. But we gotta be patient now and build up properly. Because even though it looks like we are in a very good situation, once Rune starts attacking us, they have loads of troops. And we do need some cavalry. Ah, oh, they actually have ships now. This could very well mean war in not too long. They will probably be tempted to attack us pretty soon. North Ithilien attacked. Well, Amroth expands. Wow. Winyard Levis. Yeah. Well, that was actually in the Burka. This ship could very much just go and cancel out Karasant in like just now. So it's war is inevitably not far from the truth now. So let's let's get this spy. I'm going to send him down here. I think I'm going to attack Rune from both this side and this side, and then just enclose this whole area and then expand into the east. I think that's going to be my plan. And these mines will finish up in two turns. That's going to be very useful. And we can just recruit a lot of units when need be. And we have so much money now, so it doesn't really matter much. And these settlements are starting to be pretty safe as well. They can hold their own if need be. But Neburka could probably fall at any time now, since they have ships to send. Let's see... They're not doing anything just yet. I do want to start the war with Rune this episode though. Definitely. Going to see some action here. Strondost. Alright. We can now have one more unit stationed here. And now I'm going to go straight for the stables. Let's see what we can recruit here. We can actually have the Dorvina infantry inside here. As you wish. My lord. By your command. As you wish. And I'm going to recruit some units as well. I can't really recruit them here just yet. That's very weird. Uh, let's send Order. some crossbowmen down here. We'll make camp here. And we're going to recruit some Dorvina infantry in the meantime. And our spy is going to head straight for the lands down here they might take the settlement at any time and when they do we are ready to push with all just build a quick army and we have these guys stationed here when need be they can just push out very quickly yeah i think we're going to make a very nice push when we do just double check everything all right it is going to be a long episode so you're going to see some action but I'm sorry if it's a lot of managing. But I know a lot of you guys enjoy the managing as well. But Rune is definitely starting to look like they are an enemy now. Yeah, they're filling up their ships. This could very well be the end of Athol here. And he can't really escape over there either. And he can't recruit any mercenary ships, I think. Alright, let's see what they have stationed up there. Four units. Yes, this is dangerous business. Yeah, he can only recruit mercenaries. I'm just going to keep him over here now, in case they decide to attack. At least we can just re recruit these all of these mercenaries and try to win it back initially. But Captain Broda is definitely thinking about attacking us now. Let's get him right here. Yeah, Rune looks very eager now. They're headed our way. Where's our spy now? Off the bed. Lying there just for us to attack us. For attack to attack it, to be honest. Saint Anui, alright. Mining network, finally. That's going to bring a lot more money. Yeah, we do have the money to start pushing now. Let's start preparing some armies now. I think it's the time. We don't really have a lot here. Let's get the town guard here probably. Instead of the stables. We will have the stables down in the south. 
And in Sant Anui, let's just get a couple of units here. Here as well. And let's send these boys down south. Probably here. Ah, we're going to see some action now, boys. Cat and Brother is... Yeah, we're going to bring the war to them before they bring it to us. Let's go at it. I think they're going to attack Lumberka now. It's only a matter of time. Let's see what they do. Ah, uh, they're probably going for Vintir in there. Uh, Alright. Well, that's not too troublesome for us. We don't have a proper garrison in Carasanto. It's pretty vulnerable if someone decides to attack. Alright, let's get you into the fort. And that's some recruitment. We're still making a lot of money, but we haven't really sent out a lot of troops just yet. Captain Alvis. Alright, Lo Khan is down here by himself. That's perfect. Let's build some, probably some garrison courts here, just to be able to field some units. Eodric, go down here. Yeah, they are stacking up now. And, alright, we're going to start pushing against Othleben now. We might actually want to wait one more turn, just get a couple more units. Yeah, we're going to build a super army here. And we're going to let these guys arrive here, so that we can make a push at the same time. Let's get two of those shitty units, just to fill our armies up. Let's get some farmhand pikemen, they're not too bad. But they, they're going to take this settlement soon. We should have had a fort over here. That's the only fort we got. Alright, I'm going to wait a little bit with those farmhand pikemen. Let's see what they do now. They're just standing on the bridge, they're prepared for us to attack them. And since they're just standing outside Lest, we could provoke them and we could get Lest in one turn, which would be very useful. Uh, they're sending generals now. Need to get Athal here back into Nubarka. Alright, you are headed down yes. here. Ah, uh, they hold a pretty large garrison now. Let's bring uh, a general, perhaps, this army. Fourth win. And in next turn, we we march on Rune. Alright. Let's, yeah, let's get this army out. So we're going to bring all of these boys right here. Let's bring them accordingly. And we will have more forces from here as well. Yes, my lord. And that's going to be a very nice army, only consisting of infantry though. But we'll get some crossbows in one turn. Let's just keep the armies flowing now. Still making money, so no worries there. We'll get the Lord's Hall here one turn. And then we're going to go straight for the stables. Over here we can just let it chill for a little bit. And afterwards we got the Great Hall. We're going to go for the Leather Tanner perhaps. Get some armor now, troops. Everything is fine here. Getting more units. Yes, my And Forthwin will not lead the army, but Norway will. And he will head out with... All this force, he will empty our army. We'll get this noob as well. Let's end the turn one more time, and then the push starts for Rune in the 23rd turn. That's pretty equal to when I started attacking with. Uh, ah, they're marching into our lands. They are. Uh, they mean war now, boys. We prepared ourselves for the perfect time. We're ready to hit them now, and they're going to suffer. And it's actually them, they are kind of yes, the ones 
declaring war here. Your orders, my Let's get them down. Yes. Let's give these boys as well. Alright, nice, nice, nice. Cut it out, and we just, yeah, we're building stuff there again. Now, how long until we can get this? One more turn until we get, we'll get some cavalry out of here. Alright, so Nurva was actually the one supposed to attack with this army. Now, let's bring all of those. Your orders, my lord. Yes, my lord. Your orders. Actually, we'll just go into Strondos on 22 to reinforce this army. Yeah, we're going to go to declare war when they go into our lands like this. We cannot accept that at all. Let's just check very quickly if there's anything else we need to do first. Yes. We're going to take them by surprise here. Ah, uh, look, you can't just stand here still. Ah, uh, they're taking us in area as well. We'll have to go for all of these settlements with Wine Lord Swain. And he actually have quite the elite army as well, in my opinion. But we don't have any cavalry, which is just a real bummer. It is war. Captain Broda with some out loud dragon riders. Alright, I'll see you in the battlefield. Alright, we are here. The Candlish Hunters have started attacking us. And so far they haven't yielded much damage. We're now going to start to use our Elven Elites and rain hell upon them. Wherever we can find them. So it's a lit a little bit weird battle map, so it's going to be hard to see the enemy. But even the eleven arrows should pierce through these threes. Let's see, threes. Let's see how they fare. Yeah, they are going to pre-provoke now, and they're going to start attacking us, which is just what we wanted. So we're going to take a look at the new units we have here. So this is the Vineyard Levis. They are very, very bad. Uh, they are trash, essentially. But they actually have 6 total defense, which is, isn't too bad for a trash unit. And they are skilled against mounts, which isn't too bad. Now we have the Dorvinian Infantry. 15 total defense, that's pretty, pretty nice. And fire attack, not too bad either. And elsewhere, we haven't actually seen all of these units before. But let's start. Yeah, we're going to attack the units we need to bring down. We're going to definitely target the Balka tribesmen and the Aradlad dragon riders as well. The attack hunters is not to be too much feared. They're not really that strong. The crossbows will not get a very nice angle right here. Definitely not. We are on this small scaled hill. We're not going to get the perfect shots, but we'll still get some shots in, of course. And the elves is definitely going to give us some advantage here. They are going to be able to bring down a lot of these boys. But Rune is of course the fire nation, which comes with the dragon fire. So they will be able to inflict a lot of damage with uh, their... Or they could at least cause some morale issues. I think we do want to target them a little bit more than we already do. They seem to be doing pretty nicely. So let's uh, send in some more arrows against those. And these guys will just head at some head, um, aim at someone. Now let's see, they, they send in the pack of the Spearmen. 13 total defense, doesn't rely much on their armor, and they have a lot, or uh, not a lot, but some attack. Not too bad. They won't get shredded by these javelins though, since they don't have. Yeah, actually they will get, they will get um, slaughtered anyways because of these javelins. It's just so powerful. Let's give them some charges, boys. Let's see how it works out. The in the infantry can just stand here. These guys will give these. The added time. Actually, they will give these guys some. We yeah, they're not within like range this, anymore. I bring down these these boys right here. So that these guys are just not in winning range. Let's bring down the Dartai clansmen really quickly. This is going to slaughter them utterly. But there weren't of course a lot of challenges thrown right there. Now bring down the Arlad Dragon Riders, you will bring down these. And you just 
how much further this place. And I think we can just attack, to be honest. We have a lot of troops just stationed down here, which is freed up. And we're just letting these guys send in Javis against us. And that's not what we want. The Avadi Wars as well, they don't really have any cow others infantry. Let's send them in. We could probably just flank over here, to be honest. Or we could hit their general, which is looking to be interested in attacking us. Now we, uh, these guys are going to turn around. Are they actually going to route? We're going to capture them. Let's charge these Arla Dragon Riders with both of our Avadi Warriors. The enemy are badly bloodied. You guys can stop now. You just capture the troops right here. And all of these guys are just going to aim for the Bath of Thribesmen. Yeah, and these guys will fall apart pretty quickly at this point. Let's see, these guys can also be thrown over here. We could probably capture these guys with uh, Nurve though. Get some free XP. Let's get these guys a little bit closer. And it's just a matter of time before the general is completely dead. These guys don't really hold up pretty too well against the uh, arrows that is thrown at them. Let's try to get the Kalish Hunters. And there he goes. That shouldn't be too bad now. We're just going to capture the rest of the troops. Now, just get what we can. We're not going to be able to capture a lot because we don't have any cavalry. That's why we do want to get some cavalry. These guys didn't really capture a lot. You guys can just try to capture those. Same with Lurve. And over here, just end these boys once and for all. Yeah, there they go. Let's just see if we can capture anyone. Boss 12%, not too bad. But we, the place we're going to do the most damage is on the bridges. Just imagine how that will go. Yeah. And I don't think we're going to be able to capture these boys. We only, yeah, we got no archers here either. Let's just end the battle. 161 lost, 916 killed. More candy sentinels. Got a lot of kills. Wonderful. All right. Now let's see what will happen for next turn. Going to be interesting to see how Rune responds to this attack. But we are definitely going to push for less now, just straight away. Probably we could even stand at the bridge, or actually just attacking them. They're probably going to sally out with a couple of troops. They might have a station around. Yeah, they actually have a quite sufficient force. And we can't actually attack them there now. Your orders, my lord. This guy can actually start the siege, that's perfect. Yes, my lord. And we'll attack in the next turn, but we have started the siege, which is the important part. And in one turn we'll get some cavalry as well. That's going to be useful. Your orders, my lord. We can actually recruit a lot of nice mercenaries here as well. Uh, this privateer axeman is actually a very good unit and they're effective against armor. So I'm going to take those. Uh, but we could probably wait a turn because it's within these within this region, so we can just go down. Yeah, we can recruit them all the way down here, so I'm just going to wait a little bit longer. Yes. Because these guys will not oh, respond to this anyways. To battle. Yes, my lord. And probably we do want to just recruit more units and send them down to the south. Calvarad, yeah, we were building everything we needed. Let's just end the turn. Let's see now if we can capture less in this episode that would be nice but the next episode is going to be a little bit more exciting for those of you that favor the, the side of the battle map ah yeah they're pro probably going to go for it wow they actually ship off a diplomat or a spy right there that's pretty weird let's see if they have any units no, they don't have any units at least. It's just a diplomat, alright. Your orders, my lord. Your will, my lord. How large is this army? Merdad. Yes, my lord. 
Hmm, alright. Let's wait a little bit. We're going to bring down Othrobed. Karl Margos is actually here. Wow. And he got Lok Narim. This is nice. And this is a very depleted force. Wow. Alright, I will see you on the battlefield for the Battle of Othrobed. Alright, we are here. Lion Lord Swain is going to lead his high paladins into this small village. And we are going to slaughter Khan Maragos. Look at them in their glory. Looking very nice. And we should take a look at this unit. This is essentially one of the best arch units that Rune gets. But they don't really get any very good arch units to be completely honest. Like they only have 5 missile attack. Which is not even as good as the Ithilien Rangers. However, they do have some defense and a lot of armor. But that is basically it. They're not really a very strong unit. And they rely very much on their armor, so we're going to let the Thorn Guard do some damage. Because, of course, they have a lot of armor. These guys will take uh, some hits initially, though. We can send these guys around, actually. We're just going to completely surround them from all sides possible. We're going to send these guys in as quickly as here. And these guys should now just bring down the pikes and hit the Balkot Spearman. They are getting some shots in over here. Not really a big deal. These guys can go into melee soon. Let's just, yeah, let's just get rid of those. And you guys will come perfectly in from behind. We're sending the spearmen up towards the dragon guard. And these guys can hit those guys in the back. You as well. Just hit them in the back. Actually, I'm tempted to bring these guys over here as well. Let's use shield wall on both these units and just hit those really hard. And let's send these guys straight through. And these guys are going to attack here as well. Let's just go straight through these guys. Start attacking Margos. And you guys as well just go in. We're not going to lose too many men, but we're going to take some casualties. That's just how it is. Now hit these guys, get rid of those. And both of you guys, you're making a cross, wow. Uh, hit these guys. And let's use the ability. And let's flag around. There we go. Wonderful. Just capture the town center at this point. Our men have taken control of the city. Let's try to run straight through and hit them hard. And now hit the Lok Narim, which is falling quite Only quickly. Half the enemy force remains. And with these guys in their backs, they're going to struggle even more. There we go. Fighting to their deaths. The elite of Rune is going down. This unit it looks very nice and it has been there since the early days of Third Age. Very nostalgic unit. These guys are losing. Ah, oh, the Thorn Guardist has actually lost a lot. We have lost 10% of our army. We could just kill off Margus now. Where is he at this point? He should be somewhere I can't really see. And this guy seems to be flipping out. Wow. I actually think we're going to attack the bridge, the army on the bridge around Lest. We just need to bring him down pretty quickly. And there he goes down. Look at this nice armor. I really like that. They're not even upgraded. 225, 300, and. Yeah, 399 lost. Or killed. Excellent. Wow, what a beautiful picture. It looks somewhere around the Argonath. Can't see them, but it looks like that area. This could very well, very well be Gandalf on one of his trails, just taking a short break, enjoying some of the nature. Even though I doubt he would spend much time on such things. We 
We're just going to sack the settlement. And relations worsened. We can't really move these guys out this turn. And it doesn't really matter anyways. Now, should we go for Austin Airy? Or should we go for this town around here? Wherever that is. There should be some kind of settlement somewhere here. No, Khan Rukar is kind of backing out. Alright, we're actually just going to bring down Merdad. We do not have any cavalry in our forces, which means we're not going to be able to stand up as good as we usually do. So bringing down these guys first is going to be important. Uh, I think I'm just going to fight this quickly off camera. If we see a bridge battle, I might show it. But otherwise, it's just a small battle. So I'll see you after the battle, lads. To get them out of the way. And, oh wow, this might be a freebie. Gimbal Cigar. They're actually not going to assist. Let's wait a bit, little bit. If we actually raise the siege, join in this. Yeah, they're going to join. And we're going to get less like a freebie. Because now we're not sieging them out and they're going to reinforce us. Wow, look at that. They just went right for the trap. Navid, you fool. Arulad Elder, Arulad fool. Alright, I will see you guys on the backfield. And we're going to fulfill our dreams, getting less. Alright, we are here. Captain Navid is coming over from this side. And I just didn't really care about the other guys. We're just going to start hitting them already. Let's give them hell, boys. Alright. The, the reinforcements are so weak anyway, so it doesn't matter. Let's try to just bring down their Balco tribesmen pretty fast. These guys, yeah, they're still in their way. That's fine. And these guys, yeah, we're going to be able to crush these guys utterly. These guys are not getting the shots we really want. But these Avari is going to slaughter these boys. And I don't care if they just run for the hill. We're going to get so many kills in. These guys could probably stand right here. And the crossbows, I wonder if they're getting some nice shots in. Let's get some shots there as well. And you are just... Let's get you over here as well. Yeah, it looks like they're just going straight for it and not even caring about our shots. Well, they're lost, to be honest. Half their army is going to be evaporated by the time they reach the hill. Alright, I'm just going to make a cut and I will see you when we're facing them. If we are here, let's try to bring down some Lok Rim bodyguard. Now these guys are just going to completely follow these Balkot and we're going to use the Winyard Labors to bring down the Lok Rim because they are very powerful and they're armor piercing. So we're just going to try to surround them with the trash, essentially. And we'll hit the other units with the our other units, basically. Unit Levis, hit. And we'll have to bring these guys a little bit closer up here. And this Thorn Guard can go around here. Avari Warriors will probably be needed over here. Or we could just try to capture the, the archers with them, to be honest. We do have enough forces to deal with these. And these guys will be hit in the back. Unit Levis is a very bad unit, but. Against these guys, they surely should do some damage. These guys need to run for these guys. They're going to tear these guys apart if we're not careful. Revanion Hunters, definitely the unit we want to use against the Lock Rim Bodyguard, actually. So we're going to have these guys prepared to charge them. But let's use our missiles first. And these guys can hit the Dark Towers in the back. And these guys just go over here to keep chasing those. Uh, these guys are probably getting... No, they're not getting hit yet. Let's use Nurvast while he's such a nice unit. Um, and where are these Revanion Hunters? Oh, they're here. Alright. These crossbowmen are standing completely free. Let's get them. And let's see if we can get some wallets into here. There we go. 
That's what we want to see. So if you haven't watched the Isengard campaign, let's take a look at these guys. <laughs> Effective against armor, skilled against mounts, frightened nearby right enemy infantry. 15 attack, 24 total defense, 16 armor. They are beasts. But these Javis is going to tear them apart utterly. Uh, these guys just keep charging those. Our very warriors is just going to head over here, take care of these. Actually, just take the crossbowmen. And you will now charge these boys. And you will charge here. Javelin is still getting thrown. And these guys are getting properly handled. We're ready to charge in when we need. <laughs> these guys are just running those two deaths. Alright, we'll have to take the Delta Clansman first. These Balkard Spearmen are getting killed. And we can use Nurev over here as well. He's not bad in melee at all, of course, as we remember. Now, uh, get another charge in here, please. There we go. In their backs. They're a bit slow, it looks like. Ah, uh, there we go. Wonderful. Nurve, you want to charge in over here? Or you could just hit these Dark Attack Clans Multiples. But you gotta make sure you don't get charged. And you guys are dealing properly with those. You charge down those and these guys just keep running after those. I think we should get those back to be honest. Now I think yeah, these guys are finished. Let's charge the Lokrim. Let's try to capture as many as we can. These guys are actually freed up. And these guys are just getting completely charged. I mean, they're completely... They're just getting thrown javelins in their backs. That's not what we want. They have a lot of just skirmishing units in this army. Oh wow, this is going to be bad. Actually, this is going to be really bad. Nurva, head over here, quickly. Why the warriors? You can just hit the general now. You guys are chasing. You guys help over here as well. Set guard mode. And try to get some. To be prepared for these guys. You need to head over here very quickly. We're going to lose a lot of unnecessary thorn guard over there. Let's hit these. These guys are just running. Now uh, let's use our Avari words, just bring them down a little bit so that they don't they don't return. These guys over here are back. But we are sending these guys quickly now. The attack clansmen are struggling anyways. Alright. These guys we sent here now. They're just skirmishing and trying to escape. <laughs> yeah, these guys are brought down properly now. Let's try to capture them as well. And these Balkot, just to be captured. Alright, I think I'm just going to see you back on the battle map. It's just a matter of capturing troops now, so I'll see you then. And there he goes down. And it's only a matter of time before we have less. Let's just double check that nobody... Yeah, it's fine. 322 lost, 900 killed, approximately. That's nice. Look at these guys. A lot of kills in the early game. Just shooting and getting some kills. But I don't, like after this battle, I've experienced that the Rovinians troops are good, but they're not as powerful as I thought. Gotta remember, they are simply... This is the early game. And they are, they're good, but they're not very powerful on the open field. We're best, probably, on the bridge battles. Uh, I mean, like, we haven't, because of our pike search, we're not so fast moving. Uh, and on the other hand, some of our troops are pretty fast moving, like the Avar Shadow so it's, it's a weird army composition. Let's sack this place. Gazandur. 
Now they probably have a pretty sufficient force over there. I don't think we have the army to push straight there just yet. Now let's just get the practice range. We want to get some more units. And we're going to build more units here. We're going to send these guys. Oh wow, that wasn't supposed to happen. Let's send those down there. And oh yeah, we still have to wait a little bit. But I think we need to get all the units we can to maintain this push. Let's send these guys down here as well. And let's recruit these guys. And they could very well just come and try to attack our son, so we want to be a little bit careful. We can't recruit anything at the moment. Let's start building the standing zones and get our culture up. Let's see. Yeah, it's not too bad actually. Your orders, my lord. We are going to be able to leave those as well. I will not waste words on you. Let's just build a watchtower over here actually. With honor. Let's see what the enemy yeah they're sending is India. Yes. Uh, he might actually attack us. And he looks like he have a pretty powerful army as well. We might want to be a little bit careful here, not pushing too far out. Definitely want these guys to arrive over here at, at least. Okay, let's end the turn. 25th turn and we have taken two settlements from Rune. But not long will it take before Mistran falls itself and the heartlands of Rune will fall. Ah yes, they're attacking Lest. At least we'll be able to bring them down with Murve. The enemy has surrounded us. Ah, these guys are coming as well. They do have a proper force now. Probably going to take a lot of casualties in that battle. We might want to be a little bit careful. The Ire of the East. The clans of Rune have taken note of our recent conquest. Even now, riders are speeding eastward, informing the voice various counts and warlords of our victory. Blah, blah, blah. But this just basically means that they are coming with some armies. It's going to be hard. Abu Jum, Captain, Captain Ijindia. These guys are actually getting free upkeep because we only need like. 10% culture or something to actually recruit those. So that's kind of cool. Your will, my lord. As you wish. I think this unit should be sent here orders. instead. We'll Alright, over here we're just going to leave Your these winning levies behind. With we're going to build a watchtower. This tower will keep vigil over the lands. Yes, this tower will... Austin Airy is there, and here is Bur Eramanarikis. We're going to head for Bur Eramanarikis. And we can actually recruit some nice units here. I'm going to wait with that until the next turn. But yeah, we're going to attack them really hard here. Not letting them really send any reinforcements over here. Yeah, this is taking way too long. Let's build some... I don't think we want to go for the mines. We could very easily lose this settlement pretty fast. I'm not even tempted building anything there. We can recruit units up here and just send them down south. Let's get some stables here as well. We want this to just flow. Yeah, let's get all the units we can. Just need to be prepared for these boys. All right, I'll have to deal with Ish India. There's just no way around it. But he will actually get. Uh, we're going to take out one army at once. This is enough, and they have a lot of clan guard as well. Gazandu. Yeah. We're going to bring down this guy first. But this I'm going to do off camera, and I will see you right after. All right, 279 lost, 1,013 killed. Avari Warriors performing very, very well. There they go, we lost 1%. These guys were monsters to this battle. Really showing their pace and just being able to just skirmish. Even like guerrilla tactics. I really like the Avar Shadows. Let's just catch the two. There we go. Let's see. Yeah, the Avar Shadows doing very, very well. Nice. Right, this episode is going to an end. 
But the next episode will definitely be filled with a lot of action where we are really going to start fighting Rune for real. At this point today we have just been establishing our economy but we have also taken a little bit or a little chunk of Rune's land which is a nice start. Definitely. Let's execute them and at that point I think we can just stay here. We'll get some more reinforcements now. Infantry Master, that's cool. Alright, I'm going to end the turn one more time and then we're going to end the episode. So Mistran is definitely our next, next target. And while we head for Mistran with Nurve, um, Haven or Swine it is of course, he's going to head for Bur Era Manrikis and stop the Balkot. Santa Anui is making a lot of money. It always looks so beautiful with stands. Ah, oh, this guy is actually... Yeah, actually we have already adopted one guy, haven't we? No, we haven't. Oh, look, Khan Rukar is here. Yes, my lord. He's here to... Yeah, he's just going to die now. Let's uh, get all the cavalry we can. Let's get these guys and let's get this guy as well. That's going to be very costly, but we have a lot of money now. And we definitely need some cavalry. Why not just get this guy as well and have a full army? This is very nice. Definitely. Where Era Manarikis will fall pretty swiftly. Let's try to see if we can find the other settlement as well, which should be down here somewhere. We're going to bring down Rukar. That will probably be in the next episode. Just going to build a little bit here, see if there's any, anything we can build. Can recruit here at least. Let's get those and let's get the stables. We should get the Great Hall after that. We're not really... We should definitely get some more recruitment slots there. Let's get the stables here as well. These guys, I'm actually... Yeah, they can stay in off the bed and defend. Here we're just recruiting. Ilanin, we're building stables. Basically building stables everywhere now. But we definitely do need those cavalry. Yes, Alright, why not end the episode in real favor and just bring down the Loki Khan? Alright, I will see you in the backfield and we're going to end the episode right there. We're about to clash with the leader of Rune, Lokan Rukar, which doesn't have a proper general. Now we're just going to rain hell upon him. Let's bring these Avari up here. And we're just going to charge him. Or we could just, yeah, we're going to charge him with these boys. We're going to charge the Dead Towers with our Avari. And these guys should actually go over here. And the Winded Levis is just going to completely surround him. And we're going to bring down these guys with the Avari. Actually, I wanted to get some Javis into him as well. If we potentially could. These guys go around here. Alright, let's send them over here and let's send these surviving hunters straight here. Nah, I'm not going to use these guys, I think. Even though we potentially could. Let's just use the javelins right here. And these guys are now fighting, yeah. We could probably help them out a little bit though, just hit the dark towers in the back. And the crossbows, that, this is going to be a nice one. Just look at this. The crossbows and Javis straight into this guy. Lokan Rukar, poor guy. They got 73 now. And after these Javis and crossbows are done with their work, let's see how it goes then. Oh yeah, that's how we want it. Some friendly fire there, but that's fine. This Dark Towers is going to be slaughtered at this point. Let's just use the ability for fun, and let's just see these guys getting totally shredded. It's a faction leader, so I thought I should show the battle, even though it's not that really important. There we go. Lokan Rukar is in battle against our pitiful forces, the Vineyard Levis. And he's doing some nice swings right there. Uh, it's a very defensive battle on both parts. 
Oh, there we go. Look at that. They're getting completely shredded. I want Nurva to finish it off by himself. Ooh. Poor, poor people. Yeah, these guys are definitely dead by now. Ooh. There we go, that's it. Stop now guys, let Nurva finish this work off. And Lokan Rukar is getting charged by the Mori Candy. The elves! Oh, there we go. That's a nice stab in his back. That should help to bring him down. And the faction leader of Rune is about to die. Alright, everyone surround him and show the power of Dor Uinen. The might and power of the winning. Poor guy. He's screaming for his life. And that's a nice way to end this episode. So thank you guys so much for watching this first episode of the Darwinian campaign. I really hope you enjoyed it. We have been establishing some nice economy. And we're finally starting to hit rune. So I think we're going to see some nice action. The next episodes, the enemy, definitely. It's going to be victory. hard to attack or conquer rune. They are not a bad faction and they hold a lot of regions already. It's going to be challenging. But they definitely have faith in us. And I think we can do some real damage. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, leave some feedback. Leave a like, uh, subscribe and comment. Uh, what do you want, elven or the human choice? That's very important for me. Uh, know what you guys want. Of course, it was you guys that voted this campaign forth, so it's up to you. But yeah, I'll see you guys for the next episode. Goodbye.